Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisplayRepair.com. In this video we'll be answering the question can you connect a battery charger while the battery is on the car. So stay tuned. DisplayRepair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisplayRepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Before we start, I would just like to say as sort of a disclaimer that this isn't the proper way to recharge the battery. What we're going to show you is more of a first aid uh, tip that you should do only in case of an emergency. For instance, in the morning when it's cold, that's when the uh, battery dies on you most. You have to go to work, you're in a hurry, you have to drive the kids to school, you have to be somewhere and the battery runs flat on you. This can uh, happen, okay, especially if the battery was weak during the summer season. So what can you do? Especially if you're not in the situation to go and buy a new battery or you don't have a spare one at home, which most of us don't. If you have a battery charger at home, then there is the possibility of getting the car started by connecting it while the battery is on the car. People also avoid disconnecting the battery and taking it out because, you know, if you're in a hurry, it demands uh, for you to go and change your clothes, um, uh, try not to get dirty. On some cars, it's not that uh, convenient to take the battery off and so on. So, yes, it is possible. Yes, you can do it. We'll show you how to do it safely. But uh, know that, again, it's only in case of an emergency and as a first aid measure. If you want to see how to properly charge the car battery, that is by taking it out of the car and connecting it to the charger, we made a specific video dedicated to this topic. Click on the link if you want to see it. So this is the usual scenario. You get in the car and this happens. If you decide to charge the battery while it's connected to the car, then raise the hood and get the charger. For this you'll need of course a battery charger and if the socket for the power supply isn't near, an extension cord. The charger shown here is the classic household commonly used one. It will do the job just fine, but know that the more amps the charger has, the better the battery revival will be, not to mention that it will charge faster. Make sure that the charger voltage is suitable for your car. The usual voltage is 12 volts for cars and 24 volts for bigger pickups and trucks. Before you start, be sure to make the usual safety precautions. While connecting the battery charger, take out the ignition key, put the car in neutral or in park if it's an automatic and pull the handbrake. Know that you can take off the minus battery clamp before connecting the charger. This is safer for your car's electric and electronic installation, but it's somewhat slower and you'll lose things like the radio code for instance, you'll have to set the clock again and other various important settings might be lost that may be complicated to return. To be honest, I've done this just like in the video numerous times on various older cars from the 2000s and there were no problems whatsoever. I wouldn't recommend recharging the battery this way on high-tech cars of the latest generation. Due to complicated electronic systems, there might be, not necessarily, consequences after this kind of recharging. If you have any kind of doubts for your car, then best take the battery off and charge it or even better replace it completely. If you want to see how to replace the car battery, Click on the link to see a separate video dedicated specifically to this topic. First, properly position the charger under the engine bay. Why is this important? Well, know that you are putting an electric transformer under voltage inside your engine bay. If you place it somewhere where it can fall off, not only can you damage the charger, but you can also cause an accidental short circuit for instance. 
So position the battery charger, if possible, on a stable, flat, preferably plastic surface. For instance, the engine cover, like in this example, is a good place. The position of course depends on the engine bay and where the battery is positioned. But whatever place you want or have to choose, the most important thing is to put the charger in a safe, dry and stable place. Another better option is to use a chair or stool for instance and put the charger next to the car near the engine bay. This way there's less to worry about. Also if you're using an extension cord for the power supply, it's preferable that the connection between the charger and cord is outside of the engine bay, just in case. Once you've properly positioned the charger, it's time to connect it. On the charger, you'll usually find three cables, two with clamps and one for the power supply. The clamps usually have red and black markings on the handles, so you can recognize plus and minus and which goes where on the battery. The main thing to be cautious about here is not to mistake which clamp goes where. To make things easier and avoid making a mistake, the same colors are on the battery, red for plus and black or blue for minus. If there aren't any colors, then there will be icons engraved near the terminals. One rule you have to obey here, red to red and black to black, plus on plus, minus on minus. Red clamp from charger to plus clamp on the battery. Black clamp on charger to minus terminal on the battery. Make sure that the charger clamps are snug on the battery terminals. If not, the charging will be weaker, not to mention they can accidentally snap off the battery terminals while under voltage. So very simple. Pay some attention when doing this as if you switch the clamps there is a good possibility that you can damage the car's electrics and electronics. Also the fuse on the charger may blow. Best first connect the clamps and then the power supply. So first clamps and then the socket. If possible put the plus first and minus clamp second. Besides this position them so there's no danger of accidentally touching other parts of the car especially the plus clamp or touching each other. If you have a plastic cover over the battery, like in this case, make sure to either remove it or secure it somehow so it doesn't fall back on the clamps and damage or push them off the battery terminals. So connect correctly and make sure the charger clamps are tight and properly positioned. Regarding charging the battery, leave it at least for half an hour to recharge. The success of all this depends on factors like the condition of the battery, does the engine have an easy start, is it a gasoline or diesel engine and else. For instance in this case half an hour was enough to start the engine without any problems. If you haven't noticed this is a gasoline engine. For a diesel engine I would leave it for at least 2 hours especially if it's cold outside. In any case if it doesn't start after that search for another solution for the problem, namely best replace the battery as all of this will probably not help. Also avoid leaving the charger for a long time like overnight. Again this is a first aid measure and if you see that you have to charge the battery longer, best take it out of the car and then recharge it. One more tip, if you see the scale on the charger that shows how much the battery is recharged go from zero to fully charged in a matter of minutes, then there's a good chance you'll have to replace the battery. When the charging is finished, first disconnect the power supply and then take off the clamps. Watch when you're taking the charger out so the cables don't get tangled within the engine bay. One more reason why you shouldn't start the engine while the charger is in the engine bay. If you're not careful, the engine pulleys may accidentally pull the cables and damage the charger, not to mention the safety hazard. One more important thing, never start the car while the charger is connected. Best take the battery charger off and then try to start the car. Make sure when you finished that the engine bay is free of any obstacles or leftover tools. So can you charge a battery while it's connected to the car? 
Yes, you can, but you have to be a bit careful. Watch where you put the charger, how you connect it, and where you've put the power supply. Don't hurry when doing this, even if you're in a tight spot regarding time, take it easy and think what you're doing, otherwise you may cause even more problems. With some luck, you may get your car running again in about half an hour or an hour. Also, if the car battery left you down numerous times in the recent past, best buy a new one as soon as possible. If it lets you down once, there's a good chance it will happen again in the near future. It would also be good, but not necessary, if you have the means to check the alternator voltage once you've started the car, just to be sure that the battery was the problem. I must mention for the end a very good option for a flat car battery and a viable alternative for what we've shown you. That is the modern car battery jump starter. It's small in size but has a very good power output. If your car's engine starts without any problems and a flat battery is the only obstacle, then this should help, perhaps with less effort than what we've shown you. So that's it for this time, hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe, it's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.